Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the Frigidaire washer drive belt. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new drive belt. The washer drive belt goes in between the motor and the transmission, and it's what drives the transmission. The main reason to be changing it out is if it's worn or damaged and the transmission isn't being driven by the motor. In order to get to the part, we have to lift up this washer top. First thing we're going to do is put a piece of tape across the lid so that when we tilt it back, this doesn't fall and bang on the console. Then we're going to take a putty knife, and there's two locking clips, one on each side. All you have to do is follow it in until you hit them. Then you can depress it and twist the putty knife a little bit to release the clip. The one on this side is done the same way. Once you have both tabs released, you can lift the top up. You want to be careful on this one because there's no hinge stops to stop it from falling all the way back. There's these little brackets here, but they aren't that heavy duty. Or you can put a towel across the lip right here and then rest that against the back wall. Or you can make a lanyard like we have to support the top. Now that we have the top out of the way, we can take the front panel off. There's two screws at the bottom. We're going to use our Phillips screwdriver to take them out. Now that we have the screws out of the bottom of the panel, we have to push the front panel down so we can release the four tabs and pull it out. Once you have it off the machine, you can set it aside. Now that we have the front panel off the washer, we have access to the belt. It's located right here underneath the motor pan. This is the idler pulley. We're going to push in on that to remove the tension from the belt so we can take it off the pulleys. Once you have it off the idler pulley, you can get it off the motor pulley and then off the transmission pulley on the other side. Once you have it off, you can pull it out. Now that you have the belt off the idler pulley, you can check it out to make sure it's not worn out. If it is, now is the time to change it while you're in here. Here's the old drive belt next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new belt in, we're just going to route it underneath the idler pulley and the motor pulley. Once you have it underneath there, then you can reach over and get it onto the transmission side. Once you have the drive belt around the transmission pulley, then we can come over and push in on the idler pulley so we can put the belt around that and the motor pulley. Once you have the belt around all three pulleys, you can let go of the idler pulley and then give everything a spin to make sure all three pulleys are on and it's not going to pop off. Once you have the new drive belt in place, we can put the washer back together. Now we can put the front panel back on the washer. Remember we have to line up these four tabs with the four slots on the front of the frame and then lift the panel up to lock in place so we can put the screws in. Now that we have the panel in place, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to put the screws in that hold it in place. With the front panel back in place, we can go up top and put the top down. Lift up on the top a little bit and remove the lanyard. Then we can lower the top down and snap it into place. Once you have it snapped into place, we can take the tape off the lid. 
and then you can plug the machine back in, turn the water back on, and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.